Well, this movie is into me, that's the name of the band video of an old guy's 40 movie, not a German, so it's a movie for you. Hang on. Hey, that's me, I'm Tony Smoke. What's up? Yep. And we just got a number of the newest demo that Tony Smoke came out with this year. Came with the 717 more precise. And, um, yeah. So, what's the point of so, so, no, the story? What about the plot of Nightmare Alley? I'll tell you. Uh, when Nightmare broke down on his work, Stanley started in Carthy, on the cover. Stanley, Stan Carlisle. Yeah, and there's uh, the Quivorian Zena. Zena? Yeah. Zena. And, and her husband, and mentor husband, Pete, a charming carnival. We've got to go into the success in the newly acquired knowledge to get the world for the Okay, get more do to attract my school. But basically, that's the big the point to come in. And the video is kind of don't you go and shit happens. That made a partner, so. Alright, now going into this movie. Well, guys, well, no, I will go into the deal, too. Go into the one, please check out one day. He's going to ask you the other one, but specific one. No joke, I think I'm paying up. Paying up my phone is interesting, series. And, um, I like other movies. Do you remember what I did when I got down was, uh, what movie directed that thing? That's not like. I forget. But, um, I like going into the movie directed. So. I was looking for this movie, then again, I knew nothing. I went blind, I went no nothing. The only thing I knew about the movie was the trailer, I saw the, the Game Awards, and that's all I got. So, I didn't know the movie. But I thought it was a 2 hour and 20 minute movie, with my also concluding. I liked it. I liked it too. Shout yeah. out to Dad, the real MVP, picking us up, dropping us off there, you know. Yeah. Could have done it without him. Yeah. And that, 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 that movie at, at the end, so it's already my brother, so I just screw it. I never had to watch, so we, we, we took a movie. So, what the, what's up with the clap a sec? All the guys do a good job. Like, um. Yeah, I, I liked everyone. You know, I thought maybe, like, some characters. It was a long movie. Maybe yeah. some characters didn't, like, impact as much as they should. Like, yeah. I thought maybe, like, Tony Collette got a bit of a short stick, you know. Yeah. You know, there was probably more, more to there that could have been done with, like, her and like Bradley Cooper's relationship and whatnot, but I, you know, yeah, Ron Perlman was Clifton Collins Jr., but I guess those parts were, were meant to be small, yeah. But you know, the main people, you know, Bradley Cooper did his thing, Kate Blanchett, enough said, yeah, Rudy Mara, you know, Richard Jenkins, you know, yeah. I, I, thought, I thought it was very well, yeah, very well done, pretty, pretty much every level, well acted, yeah, well directed, all the no, very, very, uh, it was yep. cool to see a. Like period piece, like yeah, like the thirties and forties, you know, during like gender war, yeah, and like the whole like carny thing, you know, cause yeah, none of, that, none of that is uh as big as, as big as it as big as it was, yeah, back in the day, you know, I guess it would be, I guess it would be like I don't really know what type of genre it would be, yeah, it would be like a horror movie, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like, in a war movie, I guess you could say like yeah. psychological thriller, yeah, you know, it had you know neo noir elements, yeah. You know, Kate Blanchett being like the femme fatale. Yeah. Bradley Cooper kind of being the guy who gets in over his head. Yeah. A joke on Christ now. Very well done. I don't know if it was as good as the the, the first version of it they did yeah. way back in the day. But I mean, at Wait. that point, you're just kind of splitting hairs. You know, the newer version could obviously do things. Yeah. The old one couldn't due to like censorship back in the day. Censorship. You know, so the new one, you know, was able to you know more violence, yeah. more sex, do you know, be a lot being able more. to do things that yeah, just like I yeah. just said, being able to do things the original couldn't do. Yep. But there's something to be said for the original. You know, it's seek it out if you can. Very, very, very well done film. Yeah, which um, if I get that point for a sec, I don't know they did one the remake. I thought the movie was on with the poverty. You guys didn't know about that, but then for pointing out, I did not see it in the movie. So I went blind and said, and holy shit, this went insane. This went crazy. And damn, it got dark. Like, but what to say, this is a family of the war is film, but kind of what is sort of uh, this movie for you. And this movie does get dark for, and very, very extreme because they're in 29 and next year coming, and I holy shit! Yeah, they're coming. And um, it's a family of going to tell. I just checked the movie out. Now, like I said, I bought the movie a horror movie, but I got know about that, so no, you know, horror. I just went to different genre altogether. But the trailer did at the at the mid trailer. But you know what? Love it. It's a family of going to tell. I just check it out. Like um, it's a family of going at the uh, psychological thriller chat. What sort of uh, movie? But anyway, no, I want to talk. 
Pedro. Yeah, you know, it um it pro it was probably of all the movies he's done, it was probably my favorite one. Like I'm yeah. not that big a fan. Like he's very great, very good filmmaker. Yeah. In terms of like his production and how the movies look, but I haven't really liked many of his movies outside of like Kronos mm -hmm. and Pacific Rim was, 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 was awesome. It was fun. It was fun. I love movie. You know, um, and then I'm forgetting. He also did Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah, that was what I was about to say. It was probably my favorite movie of his since Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. My favorite movie was Hellboy, obviously, like Hellboy 1, Hellboy 2. Same as Ninja Hellboy 3, BS yes, Readings, we know it. Yeah, so it wasn't like, yeah. you know, most Game of Tour movies you look at, there's always some type of, like, monster, whether yeah. it's like, you know, I know Hellboy's the hero, but, you know, yeah. it's Hellboy, you know, Shape of Water had the Fishman thing and all that stuff going on. Yep. Mimic, the bugs, you know, Kronos with vampires, Devil's yep. Backbone with ghosts. This is probably the first movie. Pacific Rim with Kaiju. Yeah, this is probably the Blade 2 with Vampires. Blade 2, Vampires. Yeah. You know, this is probably the first, you know, Pan's Labyrinth, all those monsters. Yeah. Probably the first Game of the Tour movie, at least off the top of my head, that, like, there were no, like, monsters. It was all sort of like the evil that. Evil is even Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, which is actually into Jonathan, too, because he's getting more into more supernatural this, but more grounded. And. I've got a different job for him to do. I'm glad he went to a different body. Yeah, man, you got you yeah. got to step it up, you know. Yeah. You know, he could have done anything after doing The Shape of Water. Yeah. And all the success that movie had. So. Which I'm, I'm glad it did well, because that movie was really good. But anyway, I don't want to talk about hmm. I've been asked for some so we should go to the ratings. Let's do it. Yeah. You know. Um, okay, I've got a movie I've seen this year. I did that with a good movie. I can remember today. Four out five stars. I can know what may may have five five. It did a great movie, one of the best movies I've seen this year, and oh, is it one of the government that turned me this year? And you know when you know it about back compared to the movie to all the movies, I think it's the best one and yeah, and I am a future. Now it is my favorite movie of twenty twenty one. Um hmm, that that's tough to call. But it is that in in the top five. But No, I guess it'd be on the list. You yeah. Know. Of top 2021 movies, but like where on the list, you know, there's still some movies that need to be seen before the list can be completely ironed out. Yeah. But I would give it a four, four and a half. You know, we just came out of it. Yeah. Know, so I'm still going to marinate on that for a little bit. Same. But like I said, very well done on pretty much every level. I think, yeah. I guess if you have one criticism, it was really long. It was long. It felt really long. And I guess it took a little bit to kind of get rolling. Yeah, but then I appreciate the patient tone of it and letting you kind of get soaked into the world that was being a carny in the 1930s and 40s. Yeah, that part I agree. So it, it did four, does. Yep. Maybe 4.5. We'll see. Yeah, four. we'll see. I got to send that. Um, yeah, that's all. Uh, and then that's all of you at Lemon Alley. It's for you, Paul. So, if we are kind of more cheap this movie, do I get to it? I'm also a good movie on Twitter. We don't scum my channel, but give it a thought. Who's it about? Well, I kind of, yeah, I'll tell the story. Oh, wonder when, uh, what, 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 with your friend. So, and enjoy it. I'll be where we find you. Uh, at GDN Sports on Twitter. Yep. And see you next time. See ya. Bye.